bonjour dickheads! Salut les Français! Welcome back to another ex-Apple employee video. Uh, I thought I'd give you my thoughts on the Apple event that just happened. It's called Spring Loaded. As usual, in the last year, Apple have come out with some incredible production value. I mean, I'm a bit of a camera geek and a bit of a film geek, and the way they film the events now that the, you can't have real people there is unbelievable. I mean, just the opening shot there. Uh, the opening tracking drone action with Tim Cook, it is just, it looks great. It, the production value is second to none. If they put as much money into producing the events as they did producing their products, oh, we'd be in a great place. <laughs> uh, right, let's start. Things that were announced. Number one, the Apple Card. Nobody outside the US gives a shit. Next, uh, Apple Podcasts. They're doing a subscription thing, which is actually... It could be interesting. I have my own podcast. It's called Paul Taylor's Happy Hour Live, even though it's not really a podcast. Well, it is. It's a podcast that's live on YouTube on my other channel. But it is also an audio podcast, but it's also a live... It's basically a live podcast on YouTube. So uh, it'd be interesting to see what this subscription service uh, is like. Next up was the iPhone 12 in a brand new amazing colour. Purple. Great. <laughs> complaining about not having a purple iPhone. Who is that going, hey, Apple, come on, we got a bunch of colours, where the fuck is purple? Uh, then we had the announcements of the AirTag. Oh, the AirTags. It's very simple, it's just like a little round thing, it's probably like uh, my car key, but smaller, uh, that you attach to things, uh, and then you are able to find them on your phone via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and stuff. It's able to locate exactly where uh, the thing that you've lost, so it's good for keys, good for bags, Good for stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I would use it for. Maybe my keys, but my keys are already chunky. Like, I've already got too much shit on my keys. I don't want to add another thing. And I've never lost my keys, ever, in my entire life. I say that, I will fucking lose them tonight, won't I? You know where it might be useful? Is it- I would put an air tag in my car. In the car park. I'm always losing my car in the car park or in the streets or something. If you're in a car park, you never know where your car is. You could throw an air tag in the car and then you could find it more easily in a car park. Pow! There you go. That's how I would use it. I do uh, really love the Find My iPhone. I mean, it's called Find My now. I mean, that's... I find that hilarious. They should just call it something else. They should call it the iSearch or iFind. Call it... Name the app iFind. Why has it not been renamed? This app was called Find My iPhone back when it launched, I think, at least 10 years ago. I have a funny story about me working at Apple with Find My iPhone. It had just come out uh, 11 years ago. 11? Yeah, it was 2010. Uh, myself and about five or six other uh, training instructors at Apple were going to Chicago. It was also the World Cup, so let's go to an Irish pub and wait for the rest of the Americans to show up. Brian shows up. It's now started raining outside in Chicago, unbelievably. July. It's pissing it down with rain. He walks in. We get him a pint. We sit him down. All of a sudden, Brian's like, oh, shit. What? Oh no, 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 I left my brand new iPhone in the taxi. Ah! Oh! And we're like, oh no, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna get? And when we're like, hey, let's not panic. Find my iPhone, the app has only just come out. Let's use it. So I give Brian my phone. He logs in uh, on my phone to search for his phone. He sits down, has a beer, and watches the phone go around the city in the taxi. He's sending text messages to the phone saying, Hey, please return this phone to this pub. Uh, I'm waiting here. I, I, I'm following you on an application. It sounded like he was fucking Liam Neeson. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. But I will find you. And I will kill you. I actually have a picture of Brian. Here's Brian, fingers crossed that his phone will get back to us. I guess the phone was nearby. He he runs out of the pub in the pissing rain, right? And we're like, oh cool, that's amazing. Like we've tracked the phone. 10 minutes later, Brian's not back. We're like, where the fuck is Brian? Uh, Brian is in the kitchen, huh? And we're like, hold on, hold on. I've got an idea. So I get my other mate called Tony. I grab his iPhone. Uh, I'm now following my iPhone that Brian has that he's using to follow his phone. It's like inception for find my iPhone. An hour later, Brian comes back into the pub completely soaked. The football match is finished and we're like, oh no, you didn't find it, did you? He's like, no, didn't, didn't find it. However, three days later at the, uh, at the hotel, 
Brian got his phone back. The taxi driver, I think, got scared by the messages that Brian was sending. Pow! Find my iPhone for the win! All right, back to the air tags. The funniest thing about it was that they've partnered with Hermes. Of course they have. Ah, but, uh, Apple, uh, we want to make a special keyring for you. Oh, huh? that costs 349 euros. <laughs> that is more expensive than the backpack that I will be strapping my air tag to. What's the point? Uh, next up was Apple TV Plus, uh, Apple streaming service, and it's getting interesting now. Uh, it's getting interesting with Netflix, we've got Amazon Prime, and uh, HBO Max for the Americans, we've got Disney Plus, Apple TV Plus are in the game, and uh, they're, they're a slow, it's slowly but surely, it's, it's getting somewhere. They're winning some awards, and some of the TV shows apparently are good. I've not watched any of them. Uh, what is cool is the new Apple TV 4K, the thing that plugs into your TV so you can watch some cool stuff. I, I still have like a TV from 2011 that isn't 4K, so I still, I'm not gonna buy the Apple TV 4K with a new remote control, come on! Because uh, the old remote control is shocking. The new remote control, it's got a little old iPod feature, the old uh, click wheel, uh, going back to the iPod days. Nice one with the nostalgia, Apple. Oh, speaking of nostalgia, the big announcement for me, uh, personally, is the new iMac. I, I've literally just bought a, a brand new 27 inch iMac six months ago, and it came out nine months ago, uh, last summer. And the only reason I, I, I bought an iMac, I did, I had a, a MacBook Pro, is for my streaming, my live uh, show on YouTube. Did I tell you I've got a live show on YouTube? I invite people to the studio uh, using these two microphones, uh, and uh, we have fun, and we talk about stuff, and we speak to you uh, in the audience. Uh, over a beer. Now, these new iMacs, uh, predictably, had a new chip in them, the M1 Super chip that destroys everything, so I'm kind of annoyed. But it felt all very nostalgic because it's all in the different colours, like the original iMac. They showed us that even the advert for the new iMac looks like the advert from the original iMac. So essentially my iMac is now useless. I paid three and a half thousand euros for it uh, and a new one is much better and it's about half the price. The problem is, where's black? There's no black version. Who wants a purple iMac? Oh, I tell you who wants the purple iMac, the same dickhead that wants the purple iPhone. Who are these people who are complaining on Twitter about not having purple? I want a black iMac to match my black phone, to match my black everything, but no, there's no black. There's no black. But they, I mean, honestly, they look amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm loving the look of the new iMac. They finally updated the webcam on the iMac. Oh, it's finally HD 1080p, which is amazing. I mean, it's too late for me. I've already bought a good camera, so I won't be using it. So I don't really care. Better microphones, better speakers. The speakers were already amazing, but apparently they're even more better. Even more better, is that English? Encore mieux in French. Uh, even more better, even better. They're even more better. Even, shut up, Paul. The main thing is the M1 chip, to be honest. It just means that everything's gonna be a bet. I'm just jealous, I'm, je I'm jealous. It's, it, it means that the editing of Final Cut Pro is gonna be even quicker. It's just gonna be a million times better. So I might, I might have to crack and buy one uh, and sell this one. If anyone is interested in a 27 inch 2020 iMac, then let me know in the comments below. <laughs> And the final announcement of the evening that I don't really care about uh, was the iPad Pro. I, I, I love iPads. I love the concept of iPads. I think they're great and they are amazing, but I just don't have any use for them. I, have, I already have a desktop 27-inch uh, iMac. I've got my MacBook Pro. I've got an iPhone. I've got a watch. Why do I need an iPad? Uh, I've never owned an iPad. Oh, that's a lie. That's not, that is a lie. I bought the very first iPad that came out. The very first one. In fact, I have a photo from the launch day of the very first iPad uh, in, uh, in April. In April 2010. In April 2010, I was in California doing a training session uh, with uh, a bunch of people. And it was iPad launch day on April 3rd. April 3rd or was it April 2nd? April the 3rd. Here are a couple of 
photos of me uh, launching the iPad in a random Apple store uh, in California. But it's about to get a million times better with the same computer chip, the M1 chip inside the iPad. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna crush it. I mean, it's got better everything. It's got better chip, better camera, uh, better screen. Mum, maybe I'll upgrade your iPad from the iPad mini to the iPad Pro. Maybe I won't. I, I, I don't know if you need an iPad. The screen will be bigger for you, Mum. You'll get to see more of my ugly face. And that is it. That is pretty much the Apple event uh, for spring. I might buy all of these things to unbox them when they actually are available. Uh, show you guys them. Uh, to have my ex-Apple take on them. And then just throw them in the bin. <laughs> you let me know. Should I buy all of these things and unbox them on this channel? That is it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, let me know what my next Apple video should be about uh, in the comments below. And I'll see you very soon for another video. Bisou bye.